Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Carrie. Um, if this is going to be part two of the planner video. And if you're new here, thanks for clicking in. Um, if you're returning, thanks for returning. And so I'm going to show you kind of what I did for the weekly setup. And also we're going to do the tabs. We can probably do tabs first. Um, and then I'll show you what I did for the weekly setup. So for the tabs, I cut these out. These are one and a half, one and a half by one and a half. Uh, squares and all I'm doing that out of the way is folding this in half which that's nice and folded and then I am rounding the corners it's really thick probably should have rounded all the corners and just showed you one. Okay. Kind of want the other one would be better. Gosh, you guys. This piece of sticky tape. All my scissors are in bad need of being cleaned. And there we go. So I'm going to, I have these all in order of how I want them to go down. Um, but I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch me struggle <laughs> with the corner rounder. So um, let me show you again. Again, one and a half by one and a half square. We just fold it in half. Try to get it as even as possible. And then I'll round the corners. And then, as you can see here for January, it's just, I stuck this in with double-sided sticky tape. And then we're going to use these, well, you'll see in a minute. So I'm going to pause this really quick and round all the corners on these so you don't have to watch me do that, okay? All right. They are made. So now we can start putting them on our dividers. Let's see. Let's go to... February. And you kind of see how I did my, my wigglies, but I'll show you a little bit more in depth after we're done with this. And I was using double sided sticky tape, though I did get different tape, so I may uh, split this in half to do it because I was using Dollar Tree double sided sticky tape when I was first doing this and I ran out of that and ended up buying this from Hobby Lobby. don't know that I really need oops, such a wide piece of tape on here. And what I will do, because I know that you don't want to see, see me fussing with this, or at least, you know, if not in real time, is I will, after I do a couple, um, I'll go quiet, and so when you see this, you will see me fast forward to the remainder. sort of a one-shot deal with these because of the double-sided sticky tape. No, it's not too bad. I mean, this is not over nearly enough. I'm pull it off without me.
Sorry guys, this is not working out how I wanted. Okay, that's better. All right, so let's go to March, and I will do this one, and then I will stop talking, and from um, April on, I'll fast forward. So for those of you who don't know, I'm in California. And I am so ready for a cooler fall weather. And at the time I'm filming this, we're right at the beginning of October. And it's going to be 91 today. And I'm sorry, but that's not fall weather. I, I want cozy sweatshirts and sweaters and stuff now, please. Um, so I'm actually sitting here. kind of warm. Alright. Not bad. It doesn't really have to be perfect because this is <laughs> this is my planner. I'm not really gonna be showing it off after after these videos are posted. So Okay, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to be quiet. Um, sorry if you hear me sniffling. Um, I may try to just you know, mute that out once we get to fast forwarding. Um, and here we go.
Okay. This is all on here. And I think that looks pretty well. So now we just have to put the names of the months. And I'm going to use a gold pen. I don't know if you can see that I uh, wrote 2024 on here in this gold pen. This is a Uniball Gel Impact. One millimeter gold pen. It came in a pack with a gold, a silver, and a white. And I love these. They're really, really good. And they're really, really juicy. I'm just going to make sure we get some ink coming out of here. And I am just going to print simple writing. I'm not going to do anything fancy. Because I know... If I did something fancy, I would screw it up. That darn forehead again. you guys could communicate with me while I was doing this so you could be like Carrie first of all you misspelled December and second of all where the heck is October I would have figured it out once we started going down you know, I'm, you know I would have I totally would have I'm sure I like how April turned out on here it looks weird I'm gonna do that one again Oh, that's better. Okay. It does take a bit for this ink to dry, and I don't want it to smear. I'm trying to get it to dry. Alright. So we can do this without smearing it. Some of them you can't really see, but that's okay. I'll work more on that. Now, um, as you can see, I wrote goals up here. So this right here is going to be a list of goals. And then we have a pocket here, pocket here, and then this pretty little decor page. And then our, our monthly. I used, uh, what's those called? Um, mild liners, these things, uh, to do the highlighting. Into January in blue, and then I drew out my own weeklies, which not half bad. I mean, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but quite a few pages do have some white out because you know we messed up. We mess up a lot. <laughs> Just get used to that. So, um, and I did from Sunday to Saturday rather than Monday, and then my weekly habits because in my other planner, let's see if I can show you. <clears throat> The weeklies look like this. This is from way back in February. And I have like this dashboard page, which you can see I barely ever use this dashboard page. I used mostly this. And the further on that we get, you can see again, barely use this, use this a lot. So I figured I just need this. I don't really need this. 
and even so I still have room just do that, shall we to write things if I want to write a quote at the bottom I have room for that um, sometimes I like to write a sentiment during the week like that one I think you might have seen it, it said just breathe sometimes I'll put something like it'll be okay or keep going just something to keep me encouraged you know, especially when things are a little bit rough for me and uh, so that's what I did and I did not do the rest of these um, I will probably do these parts but I will not do the weeks until I get to that month because I want to see how well I liked what I did here. If I hate this, then we're going to want to change it. And I don't want to be stuck. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck with the same thing. Got the entire planner if I can, you know, if I can change it. So, and then back here, um, this is actually going to be an extra page. I'm not sure what's going to be. Um, since it's December, we may just start off here with this being like a Christmas gift idea list and things we need to do for Christmas because there's always something I need to do for Christmas and then I got a pocket back here. And that is pretty much it. Um, I may work more on getting these to be seen more, which might need trimming, but we really don't want to have to do that on camera. And then I wanted to show you also that I made a second one for myself, which this says the Girl Boss book. And this is just a planner for the two things I do online, my YouTube channel, which is one DIY at a time. And I think I mentioned before in here that I have a blog. So for my blog, My Christian Single Life, which is mychristiansinglelife.com, I'll link it down below again. Um, again, it's been the same way. I have a little pocket here, pocket here. Um, I didn't really do anything on here uh, as far as decorative, but I mean definitely things like post-it notes or reminders or something like that. Um, and then I have an extra page here as well for things. And then this is the section for one DIY at a time, which I started using already. So this is for this month. I put a project tracker so I can kind of write down the project ideas I have that I would like to film for each month. As you can see, I've got something for Christmas going on in November because I want to film it in November so I can put it up in December. And then I did October. I just did a small calendar because I don't really need anything too big. And then I wrote filming and uploading. And then I haven't really decided what to do here. But that takes up literally one page. And so you know and keep going with that and that just keeps me from needing to have so much over here and I needed a place for project ideas I needed a place for what I want to upload for that month because I get to the upload day and I'm like okay hmm which one which one I want to know that already so that I'm not sitting there you know dawdling and then for my Christian single life I think I mentioned before this blog is for mental health I just wrote blog ideas right here and I haven't done anything else I don't know if I want to do you know, a calendar of what I'm doing. I haven't really been posting in it. I've actually been having difficulty writing. I mean, I have ideas, but I'm having difficulty getting them down and, you know, getting them out. But I use this in order to help me with my mental health issues, things that I'm struggling with. I'll write down in the form of a blog post and then I'll post it with the, you know, like I always say, helping myself by getting it out of me and then putting it out there so someone else can read it and maybe it'll be the one thing they needed to see on the internet, the one you know, story that helps them realize that they're not alone and that they can get through and you know stuff like that so I want to have a place for that I'm hoping to get back into that um, I may or may not decorate these front pages I don't know that's what I did so these are going to be my two planners again this one's um, I don't know how many pages I think I only have like 24 in here so I, I might be able to get from October to October but we'll see um, if I can get from October to August of next year where I can buy a whole bunch more of these at back to school time, that, that'll be fine. And then this one should hopefully last me the whole year. But that's about it. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, come back. Um, do check out my Etsy shop. Come November, I should have some more stuff up uh, for the Christmas season. I may even do some Christmas sale deals and things like that. Um, so yeah, check that out. I'll put those link, that link down below as well. And uh, again, I'm just me, crafting for mental health, helping myself and others, one DIY, one DIY at a time. I have to remember how, just to put one finger up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.